So about a year ago, I was asked if I was interested in playing the part of Johnny Appleseed at our local festival here in Lisbon, Ohio. And my first response was no. <laughs> because in my mind, I thought I was too young to portray the, the character of Johnny Appleseed, the legendary pioneer that we've all read about over the years. And especially in my community where he was big in his real life, um, it's quite a celebration. And in late September, um, so I've always thought of Johnny Appleseed as being a much older person. And then one day, um, as I was sitting having coffee with my mom, this question popped into my head, and that was, who was Johnny Appleseed? And I started to do some research on who Johnny Appleseed really was. And it's when it started to really piqued my interest and so after doing just a little bit of research I figured I better do it because his life sort of fits the life that that I would like to live myself my question is what causes a young John Chapman to leave the East Coast and venture west into the wilderness so to speak um, with very little resources, um, no food, limited access to roads, um, to wander in the wilderness, to plant apple seeds, and also to become one of the greatest pioneers that we celebrate today, armed with nothing but a copy of the Bible and a handful of apple seeds. So this is my story, as I see it probably worked out. So I hope you enjoy what we've done um, to portray the part of Johnny Appleseed. So enjoy. In the early 1800s, and as the country was headed westward, He knew that as the pioneers moved west, that they would need food. And in the early 1800s, apples were a huge staple of the American diet. And there was lots of land that needed farmed. And he felt this desire to go west with the other pioneers, but he just wasn't sure if he he personally had what it was going to take to venture into the wilderness all by himself to plant apple seeds. But Johnny had this love for apples that came from the farms from the east. I don't think I have what it takes to be a pioneer. Johnny. You don't need this. You need a bonnet for your head and a pot to cook in. And a good book is all you need. Nothing more than his Bible. Johnny set out on a quest to plant seeds in the western part of the country. As John was growing older, he really loved to just sit inside of an apple tree and read the words of wisdom that come from his Bible. It was at this place that he felt closer to nature and God.
Johnny felt the answer for any obstacle he might encounter in life was found right here in this book. As Johnny was traveling, he would often look for a nice sunny spot to plant a seed. And when he'd come along the most perfect place, he would take the time to plant an apple tree. And then move on his way knowing that the seed that he had sown will eventually produce a beautiful apple tree. And given the right conditions, every good seed bears good fruit. That way the next weary traveler will have apples. And if Johnny passes back again, there will always be fresh fruit in the fall. After a hard day working in the apple orchard, when the shadows were getting long, there's not much Johnny enjoyed more than just sitting down and reading his book. Often, as he did, it was almost like people would magically start to appear. And then Johnny would share with them the stories from the book and often stories of life. Johnny just loved to sit around the campfire and tell his stories and then also to listen to the stories of the people he encounters. Johnny often knew this is where the true life was when you had the opportunity to share with other people, friends, even if you might have just met them for the first time tonight. Well, thanks for coming along on this journey. I think it's great that over 200 years after Johnny Appleseed passed through this area, that his seeds are still being sown. Anyway, I hope to see you this fall at the Johnny Appleseed Festival in Lisbon, Ohio.